living in downtown Salt Lake City versus living in the burbs, what is the right thing for you? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you some of the pluses and minuses to living downtown, and hopefully that will help you make your decision whether you want to live in downtown Salt Lake City area or you want to live in the suburbs. And I'm getting after it right now. Welcome back everybody, I'm Greg Spackman and I'm with the Living in Salt Lake City channel and if you want to learn everything about what it's like here in Salt Lake City and the surrounding area then please subscribe to this channel. I have videos that cover most of the different cities and I'm ever expanding so if there's something that I don't have a video on then please let me know so that I can make a video on it. And I have been getting a ton of phone calls, emails, texts lately from people relocating here to the Salt Lake City area, and I am thrilled. So if you're thinking about making a move, please reach out to me. You can reach me via phone, via text, via email, via Pigeon Carrier, and the Pony Express. I am available days, nights, weekends. I have your back if you're moving here to the Salt Lake City area. So this video was on living in downtown Salt Lake City versus the suburbs and I don't think you'd go wrong picking either one. However, if I was going to live in downtown, I'd want to know some reasons why you want to live down there and why you wouldn't. So number one reason to live downtown Salt Lake City is you don't have to commute to work. So you're not going to have that traffic that you have having to get up and er, a little earlier and drive on the freeway or the city streets. You're just going to be in downtown Salt Lake, so you're going to be able to get to work much easier without dealing with the morning traffic headache, uh, road conditions, accidents, snow, whatever it is. There's different things that affect your travel time, and you won't have to deal with those by living that close. You, you could either walk to work potentially, you could take the bus, you could take the track system, you could take the rail train. There are a number of different ways. Heck, you could even take one of those e-bikes or scooters and use that to get to work. You won't be stuck paying for a garage parking at work. You won't be stuck paying those little parking meters if your company doesn't have some sort of garage parking, whatever. You'll save a bunch of money on gas and on getting to and from work from with your vehicle. So that's my number one reason would be that you're just proximity to the downtown area now if you work from home remotely then that throws a lot of that out for my number one reason but if you have to work in downtown salt lake city area that's the big reason the number two reason to live downtown in Salt Lake City is the environment and by environment I mean all the fun things that you get to do by living downtown that are close and nearby you get all the ton tons of different restaurants bars coffee shops uh, nightlife that you have there you have uh, did I mention bars you have clubs you have a ton of cool places to see there's really there's endless possibilities by being downtown you can get around via scooters you can take an Uber or a Lyft to get around. You can take the track system. You can take a bus. You can Heck, you can even walk. It's super easy to get around, and you'll be able to go pretty much wherever you want to go, and you'll learn all these little small restaurants that are available all up near downtown. You're going to find all these cool places to eat. It's just amazing. Um, as far as sporting events go, the Utah Jazz play in downtown. The University of Utah, which has a fabulous football team, plays not, not far. It's pretty much downtown. Uh, you have some other sporting events. But uh, last but not least on my list, you even have the Utah Zoo, which I just went to recently. It's pretty cool. It doesn't take you more than two or three hours at most, probably not even that, to walk the thing. But if you have kids like I do, then it... I think it took us two and a half hours and I think it was like 60 or 80 bucks to go there with all the stuff that they wanted from ice cream to uh, lunch, but it was a super good time to go to the zoo and I would recommend that you go check out the zoo. The giraffes are pretty awesome there and um, what else did they really like? They liked all the, the, the animals that were in the water, so there were some like walruses or something that were in the water that they really liked. But you can let me know in the comments below what you like best about downtown Salt Lake City if you currently live here and are watching this video or if you're thinking of moving here, what you're looking forward to in Salt Lake City. Uh, number three and my last reason to live downtown, and it's a major thing, it's that you have so many choices as far as housing. You get condos, townhomes, single-family homes, you can get a new construction home, you can get even a historic home. 
All of that stuff you can't get in every other city. Um, as far as being close to walkability for everything that you want to be able to go do and everything else and my other reasons, you can even uh, find something that we can actually help you find something that maybe needs to be fixed up if that's your gig. Uh, you can find something that needs to be torn down or we can even find something that was just flipped, uh, which you know someone else did all the hard work. People tear down homes all the time up in the Salt Lake City area and build new things around town. So the choice is yours. It's a really good option uh, and choice to have all of those different options to go with. So, you know, you have that as far as what to look forward to in downtown Salt Lake City. To sum up everything, if you're cool with the downtown vibe, which I think is super awesome and a lot of the different things that you get for the downtown vibe, I would make that move. If you don't mind paying to park or long Uber rides or to downtown, then move to the burbs. Um, if you found value in this video, then please like this video. It really helps me out. And if I can help you in relocating or moving to in and around Salt Lake City, then please reach out to me. That's the best way that I can help you. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. Send me an email. Uh, my number's here below. Uh, just get in touch with me. And until next time, I'm out.